everyone and welcome you to uh, today's edition of uh, Two Dudes. I'm Randy. I'm John. Where are we? We're at the Brewfest, Brew Summerfest in Leesburg, Virginia. We were just, just recently arrived. We're currently at the front gate uh, getting ready to go in. Please have your IDs. We're going to get our IDs, we're going to get our tickets in uh, Virginia because Virginia is a commonwealth and it's probably a communist commonwealth. They're only going to allow us to get five samplings with, um, with our ticket. So we're going to search for five good beers and that's all we're going to get is just five. Which is good. I think it's going to be a good event. There is a lot of tents around, so we're going to make our way through. We've got to be choosy, but we're going to find five today. See you there. Later. All right, tell us about it. Hi, gentlemen. Um, well, I'm Bill. I'm with Tallgrass Brewing Company. We're out of Manhattan, Kansas, two hours west of Kansas City. Um, you're drinking the Buffalo Sweat here today. Um, it's all our third or fourth beer it's behind our ale and our IPA, but um, it's a sweet kind of cream stout. Um, it's gonna. It has a little bit of lactose in it when we brew it, and that's a sugar. You know, the yeast can't break down. It just kind of brings out that chocolatey kind of espresso roast profile behind it in the beer. So, you know, it's 5% by volume. So, on a hot day like this, it's something that you can actually drink. A couple of and it's, it's not really going to knock you under the table. So, can you get this here in the area? Or? We can. We've been in Virginia about four months now, as of June 2011. Um, we're in like uh, Total Wine, some Whole Foods, and we're on draft in a few places. If you go to our website, tallgrassbeer.com, we have a very interactive where are we type thing. We can, every time we get up somewhere new, we'll put it on our Google Manhattan, isn't Kansas State Yes, it is, and I'm glad that you didn't say that. Enough of that talking. Let's, let's, let's see what you got. Try all right, that's good. That's good. I'm tasting the chocolate. I like that. Tasting that coffee. Not a big coffee drinker, but I am tasting that coffee. It hits you on the back side, too, not the front. Like, I don't like the dark ones when you first hit it overpowers you. This, you can get it in. Not a bitter beer. Okay. I would imagine this with any kind of food, even if it's just a basic chips, would bring out the flavor of the food. It also goes well with TV and conversation. Oh yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. I think you can sip this. Give me your card. I'll shoot you an email and send you a link. Sure, appreciate it. Just one thing. Okay, my name's Tom Chizowskis. Now, I'm with a distributor called Select Wines, and we represent several breweries in Northern Virginia, uh, one of which is Oliver Breweries. Oliver Breweries is in the Pratt Street Ale House uh, in Baltimore. It's across from Camden Yards. It's actually been there since the early 90s. It was under a different name at that point. Uh, they were sold a couple years ago, resuscitated, and we're very happy to serve the cask beers. We're serving there specifically. What you were uh, talking about is the Bishop's Breakfast, which is an oatmeal stout. As you can see, it's sort of British alcohol straight, uh, putting a lie to the fact that, that dark beers have to be necessarily strong beers to have flavor. This is 4.4% alcohol. Budweiser is 5.1% alcohol. So this actually is less alcohol, a lot more flavor. Um, this Bishop's Breakfast, because it does have oatmeal in it, so the oatmeal stout. He also did use vanilla beans really? and then you can actually in the cask itself so you can taste the actual vanilla flavor from the fermentation in the last taste that I got you got the vanilla there you go that's fresh fresh beans so that's what it is uh, as I said they've been open about uh, since the early 90s uh, they are a great place you see a ball game you see the Orioles play they are across the street uh, they are packed though when you enter the ball game you got to get there early yes, to enjoy the beer so. thanks for the record right. appreciate it right. All right, all right. Uh, John, Randy, uh, you got two. You got a, a pour of Highland's Finest. It's a, our oatmeal porter. It's one of our best-selling beers. Um, Highland Brewing Company. We're based in Asheville, North Carolina. We've been around for about 16 years. Uh, 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 there you go. <laughs> um, uh, we've been around 16 years. Uh, yeah, what we do, we do very flavorful styles of uh, ales. Um, like I said, this one is our oatmeal porter. Uh, if you like to try it real quick while you try it, I'll, I'll talk you through it. 
Um, it's 5.8% alcohol by volume. Really, really nice, robust, rich flavors. Um, that, very smooth. That is all added by the, uh, the oaks that we put into our grain bill. So uh, a departure from a lot of other porters where they can be, uh, they can have very uh, uh, almost burnt coffee bitterness in the middle of it. Uh, by adding the oats, it cuts through that, allows you just enjoy the multi. So you get a lot of uh, you get a lot of coffee notes on it. You get some dark roasted chocolate, a um, little smokiness. And as this beer warms up a little bit, you actually get a, the hopping on it, which is also another departure from uh, from a lot of porters. Uh, so you get a little bit of kind of uh, on the end note of a, uh, uh, a, a pininess. We use uh, three types of hops: uh, Wilmette, Chinook, and Cascade hops. And all that together just makes a really, really delicious beer. Where can you uh, get this in the area here? Uh, you can check us out on uh, highlandbrewing.com, uh, and I will have updates on there from time to time on where we are in the uh, our premises. So, are you the regional guy, or just Northern yes. Virginia? Yes, I, I manage uh, Virginia, DC, and Maryland. Awesome, awesome. I like the beer. I am tasting a little bit of that coffee. Uh huh. Not too bitter. Uh huh. And all of that is just the, all of that is achieved just through the roasting of the, of the malt that we use. No coffee is actually added. To this it's a good flavor. Yeah. I like the smoothies. It's good. What kind of price point are we talking about? This? Uh, at retail, we're looking at about uh, eight forty nine for a six pack. Uh, eight forty nine for a six pack between eight forty nine and uh, eight ninety nine. Can you get it on tap? You can get it on draft uh, right now. Uh, uh, both of the Baileys in Arlington are uh, pouring me um, um, Red Rocks Tequila Bar. Uh, uh, Red Rocks, Red Rocks, Red Rocks uh, Pizza in uh, Alexandria. Um, I'm, I'm rotated in and out of Pizzeria Paradiso. Um, uh, there's, there's some more that I'm forgetting right now, but uh, yeah, there's, yeah, there's definitely, uh, you know, like I said, when you go to the website, I'm, I'm always on there updating uh, when I'm getting a new draft in or when uh, something's coming off. Did you just car ready? Oh, no, no, no. She, she wants to go get the car. Awesome. Right. awesome. We're going to uh, put this up probably in a week, maybe two, and I'll send you the link. Absolutely. And give you a review. Great. Right, Pleasure you. meeting you. Thanks, Pleasure brother. meeting you. Awesome. Thank you, brother. I'm Randy and this is John. We're here at D, uh, DC Brown. Okay. Jeff Hancock, head brewer, Jeff. co owner. Jeff, tell us about this beer that we're going to be drinking today. This is the Pin Quarter Porter. Um, this is our first season we did. Uh, we put it out in the beginning of May. Our distributor sat on a keg uh, just for this event. Um, so naturally, it's had a little more time. It's got a little more carbonated in the keg. Um, so it takes a little slower to pour, but it's your basic English robust porter. Uh, I brought in a lot of specialty malts from England to brew this one. Uh, an American Ale Yeast, 1056 Chico, very common. Um, yeah, just highlight the uh, highlight the grains here. UK Challenger hops. It's about five and a half percent. Finished as a, at a really high gravity, so it had a lot of body. One of the things I don't like is getting a darker beer or porter style, what have you, with with a really thin body. Well, invite us to drink. Please drink the robust porter. That is DC Brow and Porter Porter. Okay. This, this is good. good. This is good. I'm tasting chocolate. A lot of chocolate there. That's the dominant, the dominant special call is definitely chocolate. Not bitter. It goes down smooth at the beginning. It doesn't choke you up. Yeah. You can Think of a 60%, 70% chocolate bar. It's got, yeah, it's got, uh, like I said, it finished, um, it finished pretty high. I definitely could have milked some more alcohol out of this one. It's five and a half percent. Could have easily gone to seven, but I wanted to make sure to have a body that uh, give you a little sustenance. You What's know? your website address? Uh, www.dcbrow.com. Uh, we also have a uh, Facebook page, uh, DC Brow Brewing. Uh, we have a Twitter handle, at uh, DC Brow. Uh, my personal handle is at Brow Brewer. Okay. Where can um, we get this? Thank you. We have another person. Order. We did, we did the dark beers. Look to the camera. We did the, the dark beers earlier. You like this porter, right? We still do the porter. All right. Okay. Cool. All right. Unsolicited um, it, um, um, uh, comment. There you go. All right. Where, where can we find this? Uh, this is a limited release seasonal, so unfortunately, currently, this is literally the only place you're going to find it. Okay. Um, like I said, when it hit the streets back in early May, um, it was received very well. Making my job easier, yet hard at the same time, because people want more porter, people want yeah. more dark beer. 
Uh, but we plan on brewing this in the next month or so. We're gonna do some aging in um, Catoctin Creek Distillery Rye Whiskey Barrel. Mm -hmm. Nice. So that'll be, um, we haven't done any kind of a specialty bottle releases yet, but that'll be probably one of our first. Okay. It'll be a 22 ounce format. Okay. Um, it'll be, yeah, basically your the pen quarter porter aged right, on right, rye. Right. This is good. Highly recommended. And the beers are all unfiltered, unpasteurized, as natural as you can get. We try to do a, you know, as little processing as we can with it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. You know, just to give people the unfiltered flavor. All right. Well, thank you very much. It's been a great beer. Cheers. Great day. Good day. Good time. Absolutely. This is our last beer of the day. Again, today's journey's been just drinking dark beers. Four beers, dark beers, looking for the best one. John? I'm looking forward to this. I heard a lot of good things from people who are walking around. It's because it's good. That's because it's good. Robert, tell us your story. Yeah, we're, uh, we're the Duck Rabbit Craft Brewery. We're a small brewery in a small town in North Carolina called Farmville. Uh, we have been specializing in dark beer and doing this for about six years now. The milk stout, which John and Randy here are about to drink, is our most critically and commercially successful beer. Uh, it's garnered us a number of awards, not the least of which is a gold medal at the World Beer Cup a year and a half ago. Uh, it's a traditional full-bodied stout. It's brewed with lactose, which is significant because lactose is a very complex sugar, uh, such that brewers yeast can't break it down during fermentation. So it stays in the beer and it lends it a very subtle, mild, milky sweetness, it gives it a fullness on your palate. It's not dissimilar to putting just a little bit of cream in your coffee. Okay. It's going to take those really sharp bitter notes you get with a really dark roasted ball. It's like a really, you know, bitter coffee flavors and dark chocolate flavors. It's going to kind of round out those edges and make it just smooth and delicious. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, right us to drink. Cheers. Cheers. All right. All right. It's a good beer. Sweet, not bitter. Smooth. I can taste the smoothness right out the top. It's not bitter when it first hits you. It's later after you start drinking, you can taste all the flavors. This is good. This is a full beer. I don't like ones that hit you right first. No, yeah. I mean, we try not to hit you with this one. Yeah. We do have beers that will hit you. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's the alcohol <laughs> percentage in this? About 5.8. Okay. okay. Not going to kill you. Sessionable, as we like to call it. Very tasty. Go. What's your web address? Uh, embarrassing. <laughs> now, uh, if, you, if you Google uh, the Duck Rabbit Craft Brewery, you will find our website. It Got hasn't it. been updated in a while, so uh, it's a little embarrassing. Hey, we're also on beer, man. We're, we're, also, we're too busy making beer. Yeah, we can't work on the website. Uh, we also are on Facebook, and uh, of course, if you go to like you know Beer Advocate or uh, any of those websites, you can find out about events we're doing and stuff like that. Awesome. Keep up with us. Awesome. Well, appreciate your time, man. Cheers, Randy. Thanks, Thank man. Thank you very much. John, good beer. Have a good one, guys. Okay. Thanks a lot. Cheers. It's good beer. All right, this has been John and Randy. Yep, we're here. It's at the end of the day now. We're doing a closeout. Uh, we had very good beer, some very good, some good. I didn't taste any bad ones, so I think it's been a good day so far. We limited ourselves to five or six, so we get a good cross selection. This is uh, Two Dudes signing out. Later. <laughs>